And there's a great anecdotal story of two years ago, because the school got, volunteers got a request for um, a volunteer who spoke Portuguese, because they had a student in the schools that spoke no English and, and only Portuguese. Gail Schumacher, who was a previous executive director, was a miracle worker and found such a person. And this volunteer worked with that student for two years. And at the end of those two years, graduated out of the English language learner program into the mainstream uh, classroom. And in order to do that, they have to show proficiency in the English language. And at the volunteer recognition event, um, this little girl got up and thanked her volunteer in perfect English. And I think what it is about volunteers that's so incredible is they bring a passion and a love about math or poetry or gardening. And the kids don't immediately pick up on that. And they begin to emulate it. And in fact, another parent spoke to me, um, and she said that her volunteer mm -hmm. was, it was the first time her child sm felt smart in math. Yes. And again, that volunteer is going to, um, that child is graduating from a K-5 school, going on to the local middle school, and that volunteer is requested to go with that child exactly. to the middle school to, to maintain that support for them. So there's some lifelong bonds that I think even begin to be built that you can't put a price tag on. Right. Yeah, it is really important. Absolutely. So, I think we also bring some additional benefits into the community. Um, you'll see a list here of teachers who've stayed in Pacifica School District after completing their credentialing requirements through Pacifica School Volunteers. So that's really great that we're, we have people who want to stay once they know our community and work well with our community. And that's really critical because Pacifica School District has such low funding that our teacher salaries are not as competitive. We're having this benefit of having teachers come and see what a great place it is to work um, gives us an added push, as well as the principals have an opportunity to see really great potential teachers and encourage them to apply to our district. Absolutely. And so it's that there's a, that side that side benefit to what that we side do to yeah. show that you through the PSV. There's the support for the teachers, which I think is just critical yeah. that Absolutely. they feel supported and and get that yeah. extra help. Absolutely. Yeah. And then on the flip side, we feel that we're nurturing teenage leaders in the peer-to-peer -peer counseling and in the community involvement that they do. So we're really proud that we bring in new teachers, but we're, we're nurturing new leaders as well. And finally, we think, we hope, we're inspiring community members to come and make a difference in public schools. So it's really this people power that's made our organization very, very successful. Um, we, though sufficient funding is absolutely critical to education, our kids aren't like cars on an assembly line. We need to have people come into our classrooms in order for our students to reach their full potential. So, and that's why Pacifica School Volunteers is an important piece of the puzzle. So it's not just parents, but it's anybody in the community can we, come. We really focus on community members. The parent-teacher organizations mm -hmm. have their own mechanism for getting their parents into their classrooms. So we're really the conduit for community members and the high school students, and, and that's really where our focus is. So if somebody has a passion about working with kids, um, they can come to Pacifica School Volunteers. Um, we do fingerprinting and background checking and training so that they're fully prepared to be, and then match them with the teacher. So they're, they're A, fully prepared to be in the classroom, and then also helping facilitate that connection with the teachers. So it could be anyone. You could have a PhD in come, or you could just come with you your also, love of something you, you enjoy, or love to, to be with children. Absolutely, absolutely. No, there is no educational requirement. You don't have to have a high school degree or a college degree to come and be a volunteer. You have to have, like Tom McGraw said, you have to have some heart. So I think that's the most important part. How do we get connected in so we can actually come and volunteer or, or donate if we want to donate? The first thing is just to call our organization and set up an appointment. Um, there will schedule you for an orientation, and there we'll give you a, a few tips about being a great volunteer, a great um, teacher for these particular students. There's certainly paperwork to fill out. There's fingerprinting involved and a background check. We do ask for two references, and we do ask for people to take a TB test. So um, we want to encourage people from outside the parents to come and be part of our schools, but we also want to be careful. So. Is it almost every year now that there's over 600? 
volunteers? Well, it, it varies a little bit based on um, what's kind of going on out in the world. Um, since President Obama has had this call to service, we've seen a lot more people um, step up. We also, um, as the economy changes and people are out of work or working less hours, they want to um, think about changing careers and schools is sometimes a place, you know, place that they're looking at so they'll come out or they just mm -hmm. have an extra day a week now that there's furlough days yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, they'll, that they want to spend and contribute back to their communities and education is a place. So it, it, it varies depending on the climate out there. Um, and what's happening but right now we're seeing uh, we're pretty steady a lot of we we celebrate we have quite a few 10-year volunteers people who were founding volunteers which has been 12 13 years um, I think like Tom says once you get started you just get, almost can't stop yes you get hooked <laughs> you get hooked yeah. more and more to do is, is that what happened to you Ling Fong? Uh, yes, I started. I had two daughters, one at Sunset and one at Ortega. And then when they moved together to become part of Cabrillo Together, I still wanted to stay with the old schools that they had been part of. So I had to become a Pacifica volunteer to do that, you know. Yeah. So, so it's been really exciting for me. And the book sale is always a favorite of mine. So. And, you know, we're, beyond People Power, we're very effective in terms of what we do. In, in the community, and you were asking about funding a little bit earlier, um, and we're majority grant funding, but this last year we had over 17,000 volunteer hours contributed to our schools, um, and the independent sector puts a value of about $22 an hour on that. So that's really over $370,000 worth of passion and love and commitment that's going into the schools, and based on our budget, um, for every dollar that gets donated or, or given to us, we put three dollars worth of value back into the schools. So for those folks who are interested in getting the best bang for their buck, um, Pacifica School Volunteers is definitely um, something that is, you know, financially very sustainable and important to what we do. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, we don't have much time left. Is there anything that you'd really like to say that would that you wanted to say to everyone about school, Pacifica School Volunteers? I think that um, what makes Pacifica such a uh, special community is because it has a strong sense of community. And I think that the Pacifica School Volunteers d does their part to keep growing that sense of community and making sure that we continue to work together. I'm always impressed by the number of businesses who have donated raffle prizes even during these very difficult economic times. Yeah, and so uh, right there's a graphic of all of our contact information. We're on the Pacifica School District website. Our email address is psv at pacificasd.org. Phone number is 355-9432. If you can't remember that, you can always call the Pacifica School District office and they will definitely have that information and connect you to us. I was able to Google you on the web. No problem, found you right away. Oh, great. Yeah, that was good. Did you have any last thing? Um, I just really would like to thank the community, um, our local businesses, the, the foundations um, that have supported Pacifica School Volunteers for 13 years and, and making, and that really they're the people that are making a difference as well as our wonderful volunteers who make that commitment. Um, every year for yes. those ones that do it once a year yeah. or for those who come every week and those who just pop in every once in a while and you know do a special project for us that we might need or in the schools or in, in the Pacifica School Volunteers organization. Right. We're very, very lucky. Great. I think the thing I noticed most of all is that it really is a community thing. Yes. It's a, just a community thing with the schools and, and the people and it's I just was really amazed when I read through it and I started to really understand it's it's way beyond my volunteering or my my going in and, and learning from from these teachers that I went to learn from through PSV. It was just amazing. So thank you. Well, thank you for coming in and we appreciate that. This is the end of our show today. Please uh, tune in and to the rest of our shows and also you can see us on YouTube. Check out our YouTube.